In this video, I am going to introduce you to this new generative AI tool, Rosebud AI. The tool is simple yet very powerful. All you need to do is to provide a text prompt and then it will create a game for you. So in other words, you just narrate your ideas to this tool and on the basis of generative AI, it is going to create the game assets, backgrounds or whatever is needed to create that game. It is still evolving, but whatever it does so far, it's already quite promising. Let me show you what it can do. So if you go to their home page, you can see a lot of examples as what people have already created and what you can create. For example, you can build immersive uh, worlds with it with all the background, rescaling, assets and animations required. And then you can animate those assets Plus, you can go with RPG, NPCs, and also you can just transform your ideas into these visual narratives very easily. And these were the game assets which I was talking about. You can even just create the game assets and then download them. So there are three steps as how you can do it. First step, you just give your idea here, that what exactly you want to do. And then in the second step, you simply it simply transform your game or create your game on the basis of this and from there you just publish your game for your um, uh, viewers or even you can sell them i'm not sure if they have any marketplace or not but you can easily monetize it if you want anyway this is their um, console where you can create your own games as you can see first thing you need to do in order to generate your game is to select your game template and then create a project and it depends what exactly you want to do do you want to do game assets and uh, or you want to go with the ai character or what or you can even select from the existing projects so for example if we go with this mobile friendly ai character and i play it let's see what it does So you can just play around with it. it so it is sort, sort of a role play game uh, and the role is just a Jaina and as you step into the colorful room just a Jaina adorned in her jingling vibrant attire greets you with mischievous grin. So let me talk with her. Hey, what are you up to today and what do you have? and plan for us let's see so i have given this prompt and there you go so you can just start talking with her and then you can play around and then of course you can do the role play or whatever you want it's, a, it's just a gesture so it is trying to play that role now from here you can even clone this and then after cloning it you can customize it as per your own requirement let me go back and from here you can also create a feed play chat let me create a project but you ha we have to sign in with google let me do it quickly so after logging in i'm presented with this screen here you can just give it any character name i'll just call it maybe chicky and then on the right hand you can either play around with it what exactly you want to do with it or you can tell your ideas on the right hand side i'm going to just ask it a funny question i'm i'm saying it i want you to build a game where a young chicken is on quest of finding which one came first chicken or egg in this quest chicken goes through dangerous forests busy city traffic and the goal is to help this chicken safely finding the answer to its quest Let's see what it comes up with. And there you go. It has provided me a full fledged first draft code here, as you can see, and seems like a phaser code. So phaser is just a 2D framework to build mobile and desktop games. And so you can simply start building from it. And it is um, just the starter code. And then we can uh, build upon it. So that is why when you click on apply here and then apply here it is going to give you an error because we need to 
define the game asset so we'll we can do this easily by just defining the urls here if we have any if i show you the code this is the whole code which it has produced very nicely written and we can if you are a game developer just imagine how easy it could become for you to build a new game fairly quickly and then these are the asset it has generated and of course we can build more on it and here we can build more assets for example i could say that of curious chicken let's see what it does and of course you can upload your own assets here so it has finished generating my asset let me scroll down there you go this is my curious chicken and it has once i click it save it has produced it here cool and what if i apply it now no not yet i would need to provide a url change the code here well i'm not going to do it now anyway you can see that creating the games creating the game assets is so easy now just provide a text prompt and it is going to create it for you and you can also create a project in this 2d playground where you can um, play around with it so this is a 2d playground and this is a feather thing where you can build stuff i'll just say uh, chicken dancing let's see what it does so once i said chicken dancing it is telling me that it has generated the code as you can see here but it would need a chicken image or a sprite for it so that it could preload and use it in this code but of course you can simply you, you can use it from here and then you can play around with it and or you can upload your assets here as i showed you earlier so very very amazing tool and just imagine the power of ai how it is evolving and then you can even build a game with without it going into way too much coding knowledge so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts on it and if you are already building it uh, feel free to showcase your creativity in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much